Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, Director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a fabulous bouquet for Mother's Day filled with sensational roses from GardenRosesDirect.com. As I ordered the roses for this, I started with the Princess Ico. I love this peachy orange hue. Then I added the pink piano. It comes with buds. Get one out here. They're all intermingled. There we go. Beautiful together. Now, when you bring in roses from GardenRosesDirect.com, you want to bring them in early. It takes five full days for them to open to this stage. But for Mother's Day, you might want to bring them in just a couple days early. Go ahead and design and then deliver them and let them open for the customer. What a wonderful way to watch them bloom out. Then for additional flowers, hydrangeas and freesias and ranunculus, green trick, orchids, wax flower. Garden roses go fabulous with everything. For the vase, just a big ceramic bowl. I want as much water reservoir as possible because with all of these flowers, I want to make sure that they can drink lasting long and fabulously for mom on Mother's Day. The mechanics inside, floral netting, just woven into an armature, set down in, then using the waterproof tape, just tape it down and then add water. To conceal my mechanics, I start with a bit of foliage. Springeri is fabulous, nice and drapey, and the beauty is you can give it a cut, feed it into your armature, and then just wrap it around back on itself, back into the armature at the other end, then repeat that, just feeding it into the armature, and then wrapping it around. So with just two pieces, you get a lot of your mechanics already concealed. Then coming back with some ruscus, stripping foliage that would be below the water. Bring it to the sides, in the front, and the back. Then the hydrangeas are such a big, bold bloom. Placing them in first helps to build a nest for the rest of the flowers. So taking the hydrangea, removing some of the leaves because they're so big, but leaving others because they help to draw the water up to the head of the bloom. Giving it a cut, and then dipping it to the alum. Those of you who have taken classes with me, you know that alum will make it last so much longer. It's a pickling spice. You'll find it at the grocery store. Looks like that, A-L-U-M. And just giving it a cut, dipping it. Nice, strong stem. This is grand. These will hold so well and create a wonderful base for the rest of the design. Now that I have a beautiful base, I can go back and add my roses. Again, leaving some leaves, removing the ones that would be below the water line, giving it a cut, and then setting it right down into the bouquet. So lush. The petal count is so high. And they're fragrant. Absolutely stunning. And you can see mixing the colors gives it a really contemporary, happy presentation. Roses and hydrangeas, two of my favorite flowers together. Isn't it amazing how it just makes a statement by itself? But then, to make it even more festive, more spectacular, more fabulous, more flowers, what else could be better? Bringing in some of the miniature cymbidiums, Maybe even feeding it through the hydrangea. Letting it come out over the top. The ranunculus, the soft yellow hue, and a little bit of romance. Finding the perfect little hole to feed it in. The green trick, just for a nice texture.
Texture so important in design today, and that does add it. The vibrant freesia. And a little bit of wax flower, just to add some softness, a feminine touch. And it enhances the fragrance as well. Tucking it in. And then just repeat with additional blossoms until it is full. Mother's Day, fabulous, garden roses, and so much more. Thanks to Garden Roses Direct for importing such fabulous product, long lasting. I find that if I bring them in three to five days ahead, they're open and lush and beautiful. You could sell them at even two days and let them open out for the customer. And after that three to five days of opening, you can still get a full week's worth of life. They are amazing blossoms. For more creative inspiration, check out the website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there or pick up the telephone and give us a call. It's 503-223-8089. And of course, I'd love to see what you create. Take a photo, send it to my personal email, or better yet, post it on social media, hashtag Floral Design Institute, hashtag Garden Roses Direct. Let us all see as you have fun and do something you love.